Hello guys, welcome to the video. This video is different than the montage that I uploaded the other day and how I plan for most of my videos to be from now on. Anyways, that's a small channel announcement, set, uh, so let's just get right into this. what this video is based on. As of less than 12 hours ago, as of the time I'm recording this, Operation Phantom Sight has released. I've played it a lot today and I have my opinions on it. I've been playing R6 since the end of Operation Skull Rain and I've seen multiple season releases, so I believe how I think this season compares to others is valid. In my opinion, the season is below average and subpar. I'm not saying that the season is not fun, because the game's fun for me and I enjoy it, and I enjoy getting clips for those montages that I'm going to start making. I think it could be a lot better though, and here's how. So I said the season was subpar, and I have multiple reasons for it and why I think so. The Operators is one of these. Now, the Operators are cool, especially Warden. Warden has a great ability. I will get to Warden later. Today, or right now, I'm going to talk about Nook. Nook or Nock, whatever, however you want to say it. Anyways, Nook, her ability is she can disguise herself from cameras, kind of like Vigil can for drones. This is the first problem with her, I, I see, I think. The, the ability feel, feels reused and lazy. It's not hard to throw something in, but in a different way. Like, when, when your drone is near Vigil, you can see those little white bars at the bottom just pop up all over it, depending on how close you are. With Nock, you see, like, little squares moving around on the cameras, so you can kind of tell where she is. He, she, whatever. Anyways, so that's my problem with the warden. The ability just feels, sorry, Nook. The ability just feels reused. Now warden. Warden has a cool ability, however, I think it is underpowered a lot. In order to be, in order to use it well, or for it to work good, you have to stand completely still at the smoke. I think warden is supposed to be a counter to glass. I think that's why they made him see through the smoke, because every glass man just throws down their smoke nades and zooms in on their thermal and just bow 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 it's that's just what glass mains do so i feel like that's what they were trying to do was make a good counter to glass however the way his ability works it's not that good of a counter to glass yes he can see through smoke and shoot the glass but in order to see through the smoke well he has to be standing completely still now glass you don't have to be standing still to use the thermal scope so all he has to do is walk around and peek, uh, peek Warden every now and then through the smoke grenades and just strafe and walk around. Warden has to stand completely still, hoping to see Glaz, and that and he has so he has to hit a moving target. Glaz has to shoot someone that's standing still. I think they need to make it to where Warden can use his ability while walking around. This would this would make him more of a counter to Glaz. My next point of, is weapons. All the we we have no new weapons this season. Everything we've seen has been reused. The P10C for both Nook and Warden, we've seen that on Clash. The SMG12, seen that on Vigil and Dokubi. The Deagle, we've seen on Blackbeard and Valk. The M5, the M509, whatever the shotgun, we've seen that on all the SAS operators. The FMG9, we've seen on Smoke, and the. MPX we've seen on Valk. I feel like it could have done more weapons. Like, one of my favorite parts of Seasons is getting to play the new weapons and try them out and get kills with them. I'm satisfied whenever it's a new season and I get a lot of kills or a decent amount in a round with new weapons. I find that fun to try the new weapons. That's probably one of my favorite parts for the season, that and the operator abilities. So I feel like Either they ran out of weapon ideas or guns to throw in the game, or they're just being lazy. I do think part of this was being lazy, and I'll get to that later. Next, My next point is the map. Now, the map is another remastered map, kind of like for Grim Sky. They remastered Hereford. They did the same for Cafe Dostoevsky. However, there is not that much of a change. I do prefer the old map as I've played it a bit and I, I definitely prefer the old map. Maybe it's not just maybe it's just because I'm not fully used to it yet. But as of right now, I prefer the old map. I think the remastered map is cool and all that they redo it, but 
I enjoy having new maps more. It's something completely new to explore and learn new spots. But in this, it's just, oh, cool, there's another room here, another room there, balcony there, balcony there. It's just kind of lazy, in my opinion. And it's not like Cafe was a bad map. Like, I, I enjoyed playing Cafe. That was probably one of my favorite maps. Same with Hereford. I like I hated Hereford at first, but I ended up liking it. Which, I, I can see why they remastered Hereford, because there was only one way to get up besides repelling, and that was the stairs that just all just, like, basically spiraled in a way. So I see why they could have done that, but I see absolutely no reason for Cafe. It seems lazy. Now next, I'm going to talk about aesthetics for the game. I After all of these past points, I feel like I thought they were lazy. And I feel like they changed some aesthetics to make it appear like, oh, we're not lazy. Trust me, we had great ideas. So in this season, they added, instead of cameras flashing red, they now flash blue. And instead of drones flashing red, they now flash yellow. So that's 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 what they changed, and I, I feel like that was I might be wrong, but I feel like that was a cover up for them being kind of lazy with the weapons, the operator abilities, and the map. So that's my opinion on that. I feel like it's just kind of there. So hey, look at this. Yeah, we know we didn't give you new weapons, but blue flashing camera, cool, right? You don't need new weapons. That's that's what it feels like. So in conclusion, the season is below average and it seems lazy the operators n warden needs to be buffed and nook's ability is reused all the weapons are reused however they did add some attachments like muzzle brakes and suppressors which is cool but that's it the map they could have given us a new map and they covered all this up by blue flashing cameras and yellow drone flashing so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this isn't going to be my normal type of video since I'm getting back into posting now. And my videos are going to be montages like what I made the other day. Every, every clip that's in that is seen on Twitch. So my Twitch viewers see that. Uh, I have a Twitch follower goal of 50 followers so I can get affiliate and I can start to have subscribers and don donations. So if you do, do not mind, go drop a follow. The link will be in the description or under the about page on my channel. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.